apparently a lot of people are scared about that coronavirus because uh, even out here in the middle of nowhere people are buying up all the toilet paper <laughs> apparently I mean uh, you know the doomsday preppers are probably just sitting back and laughing because uh, you know with all their stockpiles of uh, toilet paper or whatever but yeah it's kind of interesting all I really want to know is do you got your garlic your raw garlic you know what I'm saying because that's protected people from the plague I believe that stuff works but uh yeah pretty interesting but that, that is one good thing about living out in the middle of nowhere is you know we've got yeah I got rid of that fucking beanie it was fucking with me gotta wash it and the fucking things all like stretched out and shit haven't washed it in like since I got it I guess and I got it a few months ago fucking thirsty anyway so Lots of bullshit in the news. Lots of motherfuckers not going anywhere. Fucking apparently, uh, the airlines are losing money. But apparently, motherfuckers, uh, paper products, motherfuckers selling paper products are uh, making money hands up fist, apparently. Because they can't even keep that shit stocked. Uh, Costco wasn't stocked. Walmart not stocked. Fucking. Pretty interesting. Let's see what's going on over at InfoWars. Since they are still banned at YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Gotta back uh gotta back InfoWars on YouTube. Since they're not gonna fucking let them on there. It's fucking weird, fucking uh, Alex Jones cut his hair, like almost bald, it's fucking crazy looking. Oh, th this is, this is funny, all that uh, wannabe racism bullshit's coming out, so CBS argues that any term with the word black in it is racist. Uh, another headline. Potential Joe Biden voters can't name one pers one reason why he would be a good president. Because there's no reason. Uh, he's a fucking moron. Alex Jones issues statement on DWI arrest. Wow. Learn the truth about Jones' encounter with Austin, Texas police. Two major Minnesota cities announce holiday celebrate abortion. Holy crap. That's horrible. Parents wear garbage bags, spray students with disinfectant after coronavirus scare. <laughs> oh my god. Merkel expects 60 to 70 percent of Germans to be infected with coronavirus. Earth Moon. Not identical oxygen twins, new research suggests. Four percent of migrants arrested at Greek border are Syrian. Researchers using slime mold simulations to map dark matter. Afghan president signs decree to release Taliban prisoners. Wow. Oh my gosh. Turkey won't receive Patriot system unless it returns S-400 to Russia. Huh. Wisconsin schools had secret plan to turn kids trans without parental consent. <laughs> what the hell? Interesting.
live now. Music fest canceled, school shut down, and churchgoers quarantined as coronavirus breaks out in U.S. Fucking crazy. Psychologists. Big tech will use subliminal methods to shift 15 million votes on election day. I'm definitely voting Trump. I know that. World elite praise China's draconian response to coronavirus. Well, there's a lot of, definitely a lot of interesting stuff in the headlines lately. Anyways, so I've been cracking my noggin trying to, trying to get uh, some movies and shit going and what I got going is a uh, is a show. It's gonna be released on YouTube, and maybe maybe on BitChute also. And uh, I was originally gonna call it the Return of Night of the Living Undead. And now it's called Death Death Comes Ripping. It should be the first episode should be released this the end of this month. So I'm hoping. Um. But so far I've got, you know, many episodes written out. And uh we'll see uh we'll see how it goes. I know there's the uh, now that the coronavirus is breaking out, my subscriber amount is actually going up. Which is kinda funny. Kinda makes sense. People have stayed indoors now, I guess. Who knows? But uh, like I say, you know, if you if, if you're about to go out or something, you know, just eat a couple of garlics, you know. And when you get back home, just make sure and fucking wash your hands and, and wash everything, wash your clothes, all that stuff, if you really have to. And uh, but yeah, eat garlic. Garlic. Uh, when you eat garlic, it like permeates throughout your whole body, and it creates an environment that a lot of that type of a lot of bad bacteria really can't thrive on. So, you should be good to go. Hopefully. But, uh, garlic has, you know, saved people throughout, like, plagues and stuff, so I really believe in raw garlic. And, you know, pill garlic is okay. And, actually, that's... A lot of people are buying that up, too. I noticed there wasn't much at the store, but buy raw garlic. Raw garlic's really good. You know, look up, like, the Three Thieves story. That's really really good story that's uh... you know, interesting anyways peace out. and yet another reason to vote Trump in 2020 you know one of the other things we're doing right now uh... Joe this is really one of the things that has me most concerned about this whole situation is our group has been studying for the last year and a half uh... with support from the Walton Family Foundation um, looking at critical drug shortages it turns out that we identified 153 drugs in this country that people need right now or they die. I mean, it's on the crash card. It's acute critical drugs. 100% of them are generic. All of them basically are made offshore of the United States. And a large part of them are made in China and India. And at this point, we have shortages anyway every day, just before this crisis happened. Now these supply chains have gone down. Our group is actively helping the United States government try to figure out you know, where they're going to get these drugs. Now, just think of this. If I came to you and said the Defense Department was going to outsource all its munitions production to China, you'd look at me and say, come on. You know what? The U.S. Defense Department has no more access to these drugs than anybody else. They are beholden to China for these drugs. 690,000 Americans have end-stage renal disease right now. Most of their primary drugs are coming from China. And now with the shutdown... And what's happening with this, and this is what I talked about in the book, why I was so concerned, because we are at risk. So even this situation is unfold, it's not just about what the virus does to you. It's about what the entire system is rigged up to be and what this virus does once it gets into it.